What is the difference between the Jewish and Christian interpretations of Genesis 1 verse 26? The main difference between the Jewish and Christian interpretations of Genesis 1 verse 26 is that Christians believe that the plural pronoun us refers to the Trinity, while Jews do not. Genesis 1 verse 26 reads, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Christians interpret this passage as God speaking to the other two members of the Trinity, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. This is a key passage in support of the Christian doctrine of the Trinity, which teaches that God is one being in three persons. Jews, on the other hand, do not believe in the Trinity. They interpret the plural pronoun us in Genesis 1 verse 26 in a number of different ways. Some Jews believe that God is speaking to the angels. Others believe that God is speaking to all of creation. Still others believe that God is simply speaking to himself in a plural form to emphasize his majesty and greatness. Here is a summary of the different Jewish interpretations of Genesis 1 verse 26. Plural of majesty, this is the most common interpretation among Jews. It holds that God is speaking to himself in the plural form to emphasize his majesty and greatness. Angels, some Jews believe that God is speaking to the angels. This interpretation is supported by the fact that angels are often depicted as God's messengers and helpers in the Hebrew Bible. All of creation, some Jews believe that God is speaking to all of creation. This interpretation is supported by the fact that God is often depicted as being in dialogue with all of his creation in the Hebrew Bible. Pre-existing souls, some Jews believe that God is speaking to the pre-existing souls of the righteous. This interpretation is based on the idea that all of the souls of humanity were created before the world began. It is important to note that these are just a few of the many different Jewish interpretations of Genesis 1 verse 26. There is no single, definitive interpretation that is accepted by all Jews.